Dear friends, Today I'm going to tell you a delicious story, which everyone, young and old, will be happy to hear. So, dear friends, In the quaint village of Cluckington, nestled between rolling hills and lush farmlands, lived a most unusual chicken named Feather. Unlike the other chickens who spent their days pecking at grains and clucking contentedly, Feather had a fiery spirit that set her apart. While she may have looked like any ordinary chicken, there was something extraordinary about her determination and courage. From a young age, Feather exhibited a natural talent for combat. She would often spar with the farm's barn cats and even managed to outweat the wheeliest of foxes. The other farm animals would gather to watch in amazement as Feather fearlessly faced off against predators much larger and fiercer than herself. Her bravery and skill earned her the nickname Feisty Feathered Fighter. Word of Feather's incredible abilities spread beyond the village, and soon she caught the attention of Max, a retired martial arts instructor. Max had heard tales of the legendary fighting chicken and was determined to meet her in person. He traveled to Cluckington and was astonished by Feather's prowess and natural fighting instincts. Recognizing Feather's potential, Max approached her with an offer to train her in the ancient art of cluck Fu, a martial art that had been passed down through generations of chickens. Feather was intrigued by the idea of mastering her skills and embarking on a new adventure, so she accepted Max's offer with a determined cluck. Under Max's guidance, Feather's training began in earnest. She learned to harness her speed, agility, and razor-sharp talents to their full potential. Every morning, they would meet in a secluded part of the farm, where Feather would practice her kicks, punches, and defensive maneuvers. Max would teach her the philosophy of cluck Fu, emphasizing discipline, focus, and using one's opponent's strength against them. As the months went by, Feather's progress was remarkable. She grew stronger, faster, and even more confident. Max often spoke to her about the importance of inner balance and the connection between mind and body. Feather absorbed these teachings with enthusiasm, applying them not only to her training but also to her interactions with the other farm animals. One day, as the annual farmer's fair approached, the village received news of a traveling carnival that featured a renowned animal fighting competition. Feather saw this as an opportunity to put her skills to the test and prove her worth. The fairground buzzed with excitement as competitors from far and wide gathered to showcase their talents. Feather's first opponent was a burly bantam rooster known for his brute strength. The crowd held its breath as the match began. Feather danced around her opponent, using her agility to avoid his powerful strikes. With a lightning-fast move, she unleashed a flurry of kicks that left her opponent stunned and defeated. Match after match, Feather soared through the competition, defeating larger opponents with grace and strategy. Her cluck fu skills and indomitable spirit made her the talk of the fair. The final match pitted Feather against a cunning and experienced fighting hawk. It was a fierce battle, testing Feather's limits and determination. In the end, Feather emerged victorious, having outsmarted the hawk and proven that even the smallest of creatures could achieve greatness. The crowd erupted in cheers, and Feather's name echoed throughout the fairground. She had not only won the competition but also won the hearts of all who witnessed her remarkable journey. Feather returned to Cluckington a true champion, but her heart remained humble. She continued to live on the farm, sharing her wisdom and cluck food teachings with the next generation of chickens. Her legacy lived on, reminding everyone that courage, determination, and the willingness to embrace one's uniqueness were the true keys to success. And so, the tale of the feisty feathered fighter continued to inspire generations, proving that even in the unlikeliest of forms, heroes could rise to overcome any challenge that came their way. So, dear friends, be sure to give your feedback on how you like this story. Now I leave you friends, I will be back with the next new story. Goodbye.